Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the week of January 25th through the 31st. Uh, timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, we're, I was going to get an overall energy, but it looks like it's already here. We have the devil reversed, so this is breaking free from something that is not healthy. Could be an addiction, could be an obsession. This is um, something that you have been codependent on, something that you have been slave to. This is breaking free from it. This is finding the strength to remove yourself from the situation. So you are going to be breaking free from something this week. This is freedom. It is freedom. Freedom from something that is not healthy for you. Okay, that you have been tied to. Um, could be anything. Could be an addiction. Could be drugs. Could be a person. Could be a situation that just isn't healthy. Okay, you, you got into it. It may have been, you know, some sort of instant gratification, but it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Now it's time. It's like, you know what, I'm out. I'm out of this situation. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with anybody. But this is breaking free from something. Um, finding your strength to do it. Taking everything taking your power back so yeah you're taking your power back this week um this is freedom i think that you know you've been in a deep dark place there's been a lot of anxiety and depression but now it's like you're taking control you're in control now one more card for sagittarius please there it is bag something important such as a new job or a raise it doesn't have to be a job or a raise it could be anything else there is something new coming to you that is very very important to your success egg <laughs> success success assured with good plans and hard work so you will be successful whatever it is that you're planning you are going to be successful february February is the winds of change. Now, you could be dealing with somebody that is born in February. This February could be very prominent. That's when you find the success that you have worked hard for. Or another year, the month of February is very prominent. But I think that this February, you're going you're gonna to reap some sort of reward for breaking free from this toxic situation. There is something new that is coming um, that you have worked hard for. It's not easy. It's not easy to break free from something that you have been tied to. And once you find the strength to do that and the courage and the confidence and the willpower, everything else falls into place. So I think things are going to start falling into place for you. February is very prominent. This is the last week of January after all. So probably this is the week where you take control, you know. And in February, you're going to be probably breathing a sigh of relief. You know, but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. So what do we have for Sagittarius? You are going to be successful because you're a hard worker. This is hard worker. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Queen of Cups. And Queen of Cups is all about love, emotional fulfillment. So yeah, you are going to be happy. This is a time of of happiness, you know, following your heart. You're, you're receiving some sort of intuitive messages. Some of you... Um, are being intuitively guided to break free. Um, the Queen of Cups is a very loving energy, following your heart. Self-love. This is self-love. It is self-love. Also being loved and cared for, probably by another person. Ooh, you have a golden opportunity here. You're going down a new path. You are it's something that you have manifested. This is an investment, new home, new job, a raise, a gift. Uh, something is coming to you, something that you deserve. This leads to long-term stability. Some of you are going to be gaining some, some sort of stability. Something is coming to you this month. This is something of value that you can have for a very long time. This is emotionally fulfilling. Ooh, 
Behind you is the end of a commitment. So you may be changing homes, changing residence. The Four of Wands is a foundation, but it's reversed. This party is over. This celebration is over. It's a messy situation. It's time to clean up. Somebody may be cleaning up their act. They're cleaning up after there's been a lot of partying or there's been a lot of uh, get-togethers or there's been a lot of uh, or they've been in a commitment this could be the end of a commitment you know there, there could be a change there's obviously a messy situation that is being cleaned up okay you're cleaning up a messy situation and you are definitely headed down the road to prosperity and abundance this is you're doing it out of self-love breaking free from a toxic unhealthy situation that you have been tied to and you will be successful and that's interesting success was good plans and hard work right here you're going to be successful you're going to be receiving an opportunity this is long-term stability there's somebody here that really cares about you a lot you know that feels you as well um this person may support, be supporting you, giving you some sort of emotional support. This person could even be giving you the gift, you know. Um, there is a gift here with that Ace of Pentacles. You have manifested something of value, a huge value. Full reverse. Now, there's some sort of fear here. You may need to step forward with blind faith. You may need some blind faith. I feel like yeah, there's fear. You're going down a new path, but there's fear in the way. Don't be afraid. I feel like you need to let go of your fear. This is a solid opportunity. It's probably some place or something you've never done before. Leaving the past hurts behind on the path to recovery, rehabilitation. So yeah, you are on the, you're on the path to healing. This is healing. But there's, there's fear. There's fear of, oh, what, did I miss an opportunity or am I making the wrong, am I making the wrong judgment call? No. Leave the past hurts behind. It's time for you to, to go down that road. This, the God or the universe is giving you a golden opportunity for success right now. Follow your heart. Listen to your gut. Leave the messy commitment or the messy situation behind you. Just leave it behind you. You could be dealing with somebody that is very bossy. Somebody that is very controlling, very manipulative. This person uh, is unrealistic. They're unreasonable. They're conceited. You know, and I mean, this is, it could be your energy. I don't know. This is lack of confidence as well. You know, you need to let go of, maybe you need to find confidence. You need to find courage. You need to find strength. Find your strength. Let go of the fear. Let go of control. Go with the flow. This is about going with the flow. Just go. Just go with the flow. Let Don't let fear hold you back. This is stepping into new territory. This is the end of a chapter. It's the end of a project. It's the end of a phase. And it's not just a little one. It's a big one. This is something that you have been involved with for a long time. It's over. It's time for you to leave the past behind and step into your new life. This is travel. It's change of residence. It's the end of an era. But there's fear. Let go of your fear. You need to have confidence and courage and strength, especially to break free. The only thing holding you back is fear. There's a whole new world right in front of you. So I do, see, and this is success. This is an accomplishment. So once you find that strength that you, you know, and the courage to break free from whatever this is, and you know what it is, out of self-love, you are headed towards success. This is success. So this is a week where you are given an opportunity to go down a new path. Do not let fear hold you back. The world card is a major accomplice, accomplishment. You are moving towards the future. This is absolute freedom, success, completion, going with the flow. You may even get some public recognition for your strength this week if you can if you can hang on to it. Do not let fear. This is a big, you know, strength is a life lesson. It's a major life lesson. It's a major accomplishment when you can find the courage and the mental strength to break free from something that doesn't serve you. 
I feel like you have learned some sort of lesson that has caused your evolution. You're not that same person anymore. You're beginning a new cycle and it starts this week. The universe or God or somebody is giving you an opportunity. Run. Leave the past behind. Leave who you were in the past behind. Leave the fear behind. Let go of the fear. So anyway, this week is a major accomplishment for you. This is heading down a path that leads to long-term stability and success. You're going to be getting an offer that you can take to the bank. Okay, you're going to be getting an offer from somebody. This person, you know, really feels for you or they care for you or they, they uh, feel that you're valuable for it. They feel that you're good for it. You know what I mean? You're, you're going to be accepted. You are going to be accepted. So Sagittarius, something important is coming to you. Okay, you may have fear thinking you're not going to get it. You are going to get it. Whatever it is, you're going to get it. You are going to get it and you are going to be successful. You are. Your hard work is paying off. And planning, the Ace of Pentacles is about planning. Whatever you have planned is going to be successful. If you've been suffering, you've been grieving, you've been worried, and your worries are going to be left behind. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing. Good luck.